Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a critical topic in Angular development, sending data from one component to another component. We'll be doing this in Angular 16, the latest version as of time of this recording. So let's get started. Before we start, make sure that you have Angular CLI installed on your machine. You can check by running ng version in your terminal. As you can see, currently we are using Angular CLI version 16.0.5. If you don't have Angular CLI installed, then install Angular CLI. You can visit the official Angular website to install the CLI or you can watch my previous videos where I have shown that already. So after that is done, you have to create your Angular project by Angular CLI. For that, open your terminal and type the command engine new and the project name. So it can be any name, whatever you want. For, uh, for me, I already have generated my Angular project. So I have opened that in my editor. That is VS Code that I am currently using. It is a simple Hello World application that is running in my browser. So if you did not run the application in the browser, then you should run the application by using command ng serve minus O that will open the application in the browser automatically. Now let's create two components for our demo. We will name them sender component and receiver component. To create these, use these commands that I am going to type. Open your terminal in the editor and type ng generate component sender and ng generate component receiver. So this will create both of these components that we want to generate. As you can see, sender and receiver have been created. We will send data from sender component to the receiver component. To do that, we use input decorator. Input decorator allows our data to be input in the component. So let's go to the sender component.ts file and let's add a message that we want to send. Now let's go to the receiver.component.ts file. Here we will receive the message sent from the sender component. So for that import the input decorator and give it a name message type would, would be string and make it optional in case if user don't provide a message from the input. So in this code we have used the input decorator to mark the message property as an input property. Now in our app.component.html file, we will use these components and pass the message from the sender component to the receiver component. Here I will add app-sender and we'll use app-receiver. Now we need to access the app-sender component. So I have defined a template variable and now here I will pass the message. So in this way you can see I have select I have added template reference variable on the app sender and now I can target that variable to access the properties of that component easily. So now save it and if you reload it you will see the changes. We are sending uh, so this is send works text is coming from the app sender and in the app receiver we are showing the receiver works we have to replace it with the message that we are receiving now you can see that we are receiving data from the sender component that is being displayed in the receiver component i can show you from the inspect element as well so if you inspect it you can see that this text text is being shown in the app receiver component and this text app sender is being so this text is being shown in the app center component so that's it. You have successfully passed data from one component to another in Angular 16. Remember, input is just one of the ways you can share data between components in Angular. There are other methods like using services or event emitter, which we will cover in the future videos, or you can visit my YouTube channel to find those videos. So thank you for watching my video. If this video was useful, please don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel and click on the bell icon also please like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time